Hello everyone and welcome back to Closet Gaming. Today we are going to take a look at Blink of the Bulb. This 16-bit platformer from White Sparkle Games allows you to explore holiday-themed worlds of the Jubilee Realm. It is a free-to-play game that you can easily get off of Steam. Let's start by exploring the story a bit. The Jubilee Realm was formed by the people's fond memories of the holidays. These memories were deformed into colorful landscape and kind beings. But lately, a dark force has begun to tame this cheerful universe. Since people began to have spiteful thoughts of the holidays, six fruitless beings have been born of them. The Holy Demons. And they are beginning to take over the Jubilee Realm. Luckily, there is one brave hero here. Blink the Bulb, a resident of the Winterlands, has begun his epic journey to save the entirety of the world and bring everything back to order. As the story suggests, the level are obviously themed after different holidays. There are five worlds. The Winterland, modeled after Christmas. The Loveland, modeled after Valentine's Day. The Terrorland, which resembles a city. The Frightland, which reminded me of a jungle and something shamanistic. And the Eggland, which is clearly modeled after the Easter holiday. There is also one level that is currently still unavailable. Each of these worlds consists of two individual levels with a boss waiting at the end of the level. These bosses are fairly simplistic in nature, but until you learn their patterns, they can still pose quite a challenge. The enemies in the levels can usually be pretty easily defeated by just being patient in your gameplay, not trying to rush things and having your attack ready. The graphics of the game are very nice. The individual levels represent their respective holidays very well, and their cheerfulness and all the nice color create a quite nice atmosphere to the game. Some of the 2D models could be a little bit more detailed. But for a free-to-play game, everything is great. The sound and music are also very nice, again giving a nice atmosphere, but I do have one complaint about them. They are pretty loud, and the game doesn't have any option to make them quieter. I had to manually adjust the volume through the Windows volume mixer. But let's talk about the actually important stuff. How the game feels while playing it. And I gotta say, I was very pleasantly surprised. While the game is pretty simple, it's also deceptively fun and that is always what counts the most. The controls are tight, although a tiny bit confusing in place. You control movement with the usual cursor keys, but you jump with X and use your attack with Z. You will also gather items throughout the level. These items are divided into two categories. Active items, which are either healing items or helmets that provide you with a temporary benefit to ease your game. And secondly, there are the passive items that obviously provide a passive benefit in your adventures. Other than the usual platforming, there is also an attack provided for you, with a very well done mechanic of charging up the attack. Not only does it get stronger the longer you charge it, it also travels further and it fully charged, it also passes through your foes. What I personally have found useful is keeping a fully charged attack in hand most of the time, as if you run into an enemy, you can usually kill it instantly with it. Now to conclude this review. The game is pretty fun and provides an incredible value deal with it price. Which is zero just to remind you guys. If you are a fan of platformers, definitely pick this up. The game is also a good choice for anyone who is looking for a few hours of free fun or anyone with small children, as the game's colorful atmosphere will certainly enthrall them. Well, that's it for today guys. Hope you liked the video and if you did, please consider liking and subscribing. And if you didn't, Dislike it. See you all next time with more gaming content.